What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Anton. I do content on all things 3D. And that's right. We're going to be smoothing our 3D prints without any sanding. Without further ado, let's get it. So, welcome to Anton's lab experiments. And today, no, I'm just kidding. We're not going to be this extra. Um, as I was saying, so what we're going to be doing is this transparent Iron Man helmet. And if you want to see more details of why I did this transparent helmet, how I made it, link up here. But, um, we're going to be smoothing him and seeing if we can really make this even more transparent without sanding it at all. And the way we're going to do it is using this stuff right here that I order on Amazon. Link is always in the description. XTC3D. Uh, the cousin of C3P... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a quite an interesting name, but uh, it's just these two chemicals right here. Um, you get this nice little brush, little cup, and a stirring stick that I've misplaced somewhere. Ah! Found it. A, uh, yeah, I misplaced it. It's a nice little guy. Anyways, back to what I was saying. This is what's included in the kit, and it runs you about eh, 25, 20 bucks. And all you do is mix two, part A, and one, part B. Now, you see I have a little bit of aluminum foil. I just don't want to mess up this very fancy and extravagant, exquisite table. So, hence the aluminum foil here. It shouldn't, you know, mess with metal. And I have this little tray. Let's get a little tray just to, you know, easier mix it in. So, let's do this. Let's see what happens. So, I'm going to start with the part A. I'm pouring, uh, let's do half a fluid ounce. Well, big thing that they advertise is you don't need that much, so... Uh, I'm not gonna go overkill the beginning. We'll just do half a fluid ounce and then remember it's part two of the A solution and part one of the B. So one fourth of this will be part B. And there we go. Now the part B. You do wanna shake this very well actually before you mix it. And I, uh, I did do that with part A, but it's really thick so it's kinda hard to do. Right about part B, but there you go. And we get one fourth of this guy. And there we are. So we got three fourths of a fluid ounce. And I am just going to put this in this little nice little tray. Get my nice little stir stick over here and mix it. It takes about one minute, they say, to stir. So uh, starting now. Alright, so it's been about a minute of me stirring this guy. I'm gonna place that in there. Pour some of this right here. And this nice little brush that comes with that. I'm gonna start first with the faceplate right here. And I wanna do it on the transparent print first, and then Baby Yoda, uh, which is a regular print, but I wanna see how smoother it gets it, because there are some layer lines on him. You know, they're just they're not nice. I wanna get them real glossy and nice looking, so gonna get some of this onto my brush here and I'm gonna start first with the faceplate and get this repositioned here so again I've done no sanding at all on this guy and I'm just kind of brushing this all over here it's it's kind of stick sticky and thick and I'm going against where the layer of ones are I don't know if that helps it or not but we're just gonna they say a little bit goes a far away, so we are going to try to disperse this fairly thin layer. Now, if you want a better effect of it, you do one of two things. You can either add a second coat, they say, of it, which is kind of a bit. Or you can sand it, but they say you'd want to sand it with a higher grit, um, and it won't give you this glossy finish, supposedly. Transparent, though, is very different. Um, we're looking for a glass-like look, and not just so much of just getting rid of the layer lines. So we'll see what happens here. I'm very curious myself if this is a potential game changer for my uh, post-processing work. But I think it needs some time to cure to get bigger results. So I'm gonna give it a good at least 30 minutes to an hour before I make my full decision. And I'll work on Baby Yoda while that happens. So we're gonna get this all applied. And I'll be back with you guys when I finish the faceplate.
All right, so uh, it's been about 10 minutes since I finished the whole element. Am I seeing any effects? Yes, I am initially seeing definitely some difference. Definitely it looks, uh, I don't know, wet and glossy, kind of how that picture right there makes it look like. Is it the effect I'm aiming for and looking for? No, but again, this took me 10 minutes of no sanding at all, and I've only done one coat, and it's only the top part. The inside of it needs to be done too. So I'm gonna work on that next. But before we get to that, I'm gonna let it cure a little bit so I can, you know, touch and all that and work on Baby Yoda. This is the guy in the models. I really think this is gonna be super helpful because there's little crevices and all of that everywhere here. It's very difficult to get sanded correctly as you would like it to. And they just, they really take away a lot from the model when you have such lines like that. So we'll see how this works with that because using your brush to just basically paint a little more like this would take me no time. So here we go. So these results are in. So, did it do the effect that I wanted for the transparent helmet? No. What this basically is, is a thin coat above the plate. So it does remove layer lines, but really it's adding a layer of smoothness to it. Not so much sanding it down. Um, so, you know, like listen to this. You can still kind of hear a little bit of resistance, but when you flip this on the other side where I didn't add any, you can hear every single line scratch it with my nail there. So it's not smooth at all on this side. It's fairly smooth on this side. So this, this is good for applications such as if you plan on applying a coat after that, I would not just apply some XTC 3D and that leave it at that. So, uh, you know, like Baby Yoda, it doesn't look that great. By the way, I'm a beginner with this first try and I didn't know and understand correctly how to use it clearly because <laughs> That right there is not good. That's not what you want it to look like, especially right here. You don't want to over apply it. But you can see with this though, it's kind of got lucky with, I can show you guys, it's adding a coat of paint basically that smooths really nicely. So um, after this is done, you would normally paint it. So it's up to you to decide if this is good for your model needs. For me personally, I, I felt like it was not that amazing. I guess with using it for uneven edges right here, if you know how to apply it really well and smoothly, it's not too bad. That's hard to sand down in those edges. But something like a helmet, which is most of the time what I'm printing, I'd rather just sand it down than add this clear coat. It's not much of a faster process. Also, this stuff when it cures, it gets hard. So you wanna wash the brush correctly. I did not. Now it is hard, like there's paint. So keep that in mind. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give this product a 7. It works for certain things, but for me personally, I didn't care for it. It's okay though, not too difficult. You can try it out yourself, guys. It's not too bad, especially if you add a layer of paint, but if you don't, um, you're better off sanding. So there you go, guys. That's my experiment for today.